My name's Mac. I'm a brewer by profession. I like when my drunk friend tries to say <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. That's Benedict Cumberbatch. And I can't get enough of my pampered chef kitchen scissors. <laughs> They're so good. We're not sponsored by them, by the way. This <laughs> is Toby. He's an accountant. He drives a Toyota Barbarella. Here it is, look. He likes motorbikes and sheep. This is Izzy. What can I say? She's an enigma. All three of us make up the Thursday Climbing Club. I can't do it. <laughs> For a little while, there was this problem outside on the boulder wall at Far Peak. We called it the Parsons Nose. <laughs> Basically, foot swap, foot on the volume. And then basically, you've got to put all of your weight onto your foot and just stand up. Yeah, yeah, you got it. We called it the Parsons nose because of that big orange face looking thing. This problem was Toby's nemesis. Hey, okay. you've done that. You, you need to get your foot right up and rock over on it. Me, as you can see, I'm not even a contender. Toby, who's filming at the moment, isn't really a heavy breather all the time. You need your foot up, you need your right foot up first. It's just that I've got him to do the problem first so I can copy what he does. But here, I'm not even listening to him. I'm going off on the left, what, what am I doing? What's that, left foot up? Yeah, that's, that's not gonna do anything. The surface on this wall is slipperier than slate. Wet slate. This part's tricky for me. My knee's not great at the best of times. I'm relying on it in this way. It's an act of faith. Oh, grabbing the Parsons nose. Parsons nose. That's one of those phrases that you hear that you never really know what it means. At least I didn't. Oh, my knee's not gonna handle it. At first, I thought it was a drunk clergy's nose. Big red bulbous, a quick aside from my aside. But what on earth am I doing here? As Soundgarden would say, you stare at me in your Jesus Christ pose. Ironic, being as what we were just talking about. Yeah, let's get back to that. After thinking it was a clergyman's red nose, I thought it was a chicken's bum. It's not the chicken's bum, it's just above the chicken's bum. Some of you might not be able to understand our Oxfordshire yeah, accent. Yes, you'll yeah, do what I, yeah, that's it. Can you decipher what Toby just said? Leave a comment below this video. You've got to basically try and get your ha both hands on the nose. Oh, I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, that's an actual Parsons nose. I guess if you were being cheeky, you could say that does look like a, a vicar's nose. D depends on the vicar. Ah, according to wikiwalking.tumblr.com, the phrase Parsons nose comes from the notion that an English parson may have his nose up in the air, upturned like a chicken's rear end. The term must have been known as early as around 14 AD when a carpenter had been contracted to provide new choir stalls for St. Mary's Church, Nantwich. The vicar was either slow to pay the artisan or did not pay at all. In retaliation on the last misery cord in the stalls, I don't know what a misery cord is, the carpenter carved a bird with an image of that vicar's face with protuberant nose as a rump. It's still around today. I'm going to Nantwich. Hang on. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was about normal for me on the Parsons nose. It's hard. I'm giving up. I think this is the furthest I got. And then it got hard. So I gave up. Yeah, nice. No, you want to no, no. Go put your right leg behind you to the foot to the foothold over there. That's it. No. Yes. Now you can just get that right leg right up onto the corner. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the furthest I got. Toby was pretty good at this problem right from the start. This is the start of his first attempt. But look how quickly he hones this rock over. He's going for the nose. Snouted. Look how smooth this motion is. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. Nice. The Parsons knows. Do you ever have that? Spend your whole life thinking one thing and it turns out to be wrong. Up until the age of 23, I thought eggshells gave you warts. <laughs> Look how easy that is for you. When a girlfriend laughed at me for saying, oh, wash your hands, you've been touching eggshells. I asked my mum, mum, why did you tell me that eggshells give you warts? Nice. Grab that snout. Because you used to eat them. I think you like the crunch. Uh, reach out and touch faith. Yes. Now for the hairy eyebrow. The lovely reach over. Confident move. <laughs> Come on, Toby, you can do it. Come on. Oh, no. Straight to the nose. Is he going to tickle the eyebrows? That is the move. Whoa. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, well, Toby's falling off a lot more at this stage than Mac did. That's because he tried it way more. He wasn't scared of it like I was. <laughs> this may be a learning moment. Watch how his knee, see his knee is pointing to the left, but it's not really working. So, oh, drop knee to the right. And yes, he can reach that eyebrow. He's probably implementing something that we learned from the young climbing Yoda, Dylan, at Far Peak. We paid for a few training sessions with Dylan, worth every penny. Again with a lovely drop knee. Yeah, it was always the reach over, wasn't it? <laughs> Foot swap. Foot swap again. But then Toby innovates. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Not quite so elegant this time, but it's almost like he's back flagging. I think that's the term. If all else fails, get your Henry pants on. I say that because Henry from Far Lovely. Peak has the same trousers as him. Oh. 
Christ. It was the kick out, wasn't it? Or is it a foot swap and then kick out? Yeah, that looks like a nice big hold, but it's a sloper. Push with your arm. <laughs> nice. I can't. <laughs> uh, I'm flagging that. Nice. Now it's the mantle. Come on, you got this. You got it, you got it, come on. Don't give up. Oh. Plane. I just can't. Nice. It's around about this point that I really wanted to say. We've got enemies in North Cerny, South Cerny, Borton on the Water, which comes from the BBC programme, This Country, which is actually filmed in North Leach, right. which is where Far Peak is. And actually the outside unit for the production, they camp at Far Peak. <laughs> five. He's got his Henry pants on again. I wish I could tell you what they are, but I've no idea. Come on, push. Sometimes you solve the problems that become projects that you go over and over and over. Sometimes you don't. This time, I hope you didn't. Let's see how it should be done. This is Gary. One thing I will say is Gary's quite tall. So there's maybe a little bit of an advantage. Look at this, he does a step through motion rather than sort of the back flag thing that Toby does. <gasps> nice. Everyone does it differently. At least he does it. We couldn't. What was your name? Gary. Gary. Nice to meet you, Gary. Nice to meet you. Jules? Uh, Mac. What was your name? Jules. Jules, I'm Mac. Nice Mac. to meet you, man. Hi, Mac. Right. Let's see how it should really be done. Yeah. This guy's amazing. Now see, he does a foot swap. But watch this beautiful manoeuvre. That's a back flag. At least I think it is. An excellent example of a drop knee there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cool, that finish. <laughs> That's where Toby's stuck on. Brilliant. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Get your thumb right in the way of the lens. So that's it. Some projects you complete, some you don't, and they live with you for years. But hey, best of luck in any project that you're doing, whatever it is. See you next Sunday. <laughs> That's Benedict Cumberdown, Cumberdown, Cumberdown. <laughs>
That's Benedict Cumberland. Come, 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 that's Benedict Cumberland.